Man, the water's looking good. Clear. Let's get it started. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Line Cook. I got one rod set out there already. I'm setting up four rods ready to go. And we're gonna try for some rainbows, lakers, browns, really anything that wants to uh, bite a live shiner. This week this weather's changing already. It's getting warmer. I'm in a long sleeve shirt already. And uh, yeah, hopefully these fish are gonna start to be a little more active here. Let's see if we can catch one first. I'll show you what I'm using as usual. I got a few different rods out here today, but my preferred setup is a nine foot rod. I use this for big bodies of water, reservoir fishing, really helps kind of cast this setup out a little bit further. There's a nine foot rod, once again, with a 4,000 size reel that's 10 pound mono on there. This is essentially a steelhead rod, like very fast action there at the tip. I don't know if you can see that. You have a little sliding weight here, quarter ounce, half ounce, that just as much as you need to get down there to a swivel. And that is six pound fluorocarbon leader with just a small circle hook on the end. You can use this for shiners, power bait. Today I'm gonna run three rods with shiners and one rod with power bait, just to see. There's some trout that are hungry. Now these are a mixture between medium and large shiners. There's a few, way you can, few ways you can rig them. The first way that sometimes I like to do it is through the mouth there. That keeps them alive for a while. Let's cast that out there. And then the second way you can rig them is right here through the back. That allows them to swim freely too. Either or works. Sometimes I uh, like to do it through the mouth because the bait will stay on a little bit longer. But either will work. We'll see what will work today. Make sure you got loose drag when you put it in the holder. I like to also just tighten the line so there's not a big bow of line hanging there. So we got one, two, three, four rods set up. And here in New Jersey, you're allowed to fish with four rods at one time, either combination of any kind of bait. If you wanna fish with lures, you can do three rods with bait, one rod you can cast around, but I'm using four rods out here, all with bait. If I decide to cast around, I'll just change out one of the setups. You can't really tell from here how clear this water is, but I think I got a good way for you to find out. for a bait check. It's been about 20, 25 minutes. Man, that's a monster. Whoop. That's a really big shiner on this rod. He's lively. Make sure he swims around pretty good before I cast him out there, and he's swimming good. Let's send him out. Perfect. There's a fish on here. Got him. Nice. Oh man. I'm trying to loosen this just a little bit. Keep the pressure on him. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a big rainbow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
<laughs> it's a giant trout. Holy cow. On the shiner. That thing is a tank. All right, all right, buddy. Let's see how big you are. It's almost a 19 inch fish. Oh my gosh. All right, let's, let's go ahead and dispatch this fish. Now they haven't even stocked yet. So that is a holdover fish. That is a beautiful trout. So awesome. It was slow here today, but we just got that bite out of nowhere. We bonked him, we'll get him on the stringer, and we're definitely gonna do a catch and cook with this guy. Gonna go ahead and put another shiner on it. That guy ate the large shiner. I mean, a big trout like that, I wouldn't doubt it. I think we got another bite. Yep. Oh. On and off. He broke off. Just missed one and then got a trout right here. You got a trout? Yeah. Yep. What bait are you using from on the after? That live bait. Live bait, eh? Live bait, yep. Oh, damn. Yep. Live bait with a weight on the bottom. That's so. Okay, I'm a newbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a yeah, newbie. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I'm using like right now shrimp, right? Okay. But weight is fine or is it too Yeah, light? so let me show you. Let me show you what I'm doing right now. See how like he's swimming? Swimming, oh, he's going right off. Like you, he's like really active. Yeah. Like those fish look for that. Look for that, that's true, that's true. If yeah. you have one that uh, isn't like making much movement, like the fish will like see it better. But he's like, he's injured, but he's, he's still moving He's around. good. Yeah. He's, he's injured, but he's gonna, he's gonna still Go around. move around. And then you just send that out there. Yep. And that's it. There you go. And you wait. Then you wait. It's a waiting <laughs> game. Yep. I, I started all the way on that side and I've been moving slowly. <laughs> yeah, these spots, you, like you can see the points. Yeah. This point, that point, yeah. that point. They're pretty good, eh? I just work them, you know. One day I'll do this spot, one day I'll do that spot. I work around the front, you know. Where is. Yes, yeah. I go over there. Thanks for the info though. Oh, of course. No of course. You don't mind if I go down there? Oh, right? yeah. By all means. Thank you. Yep. Here, do you have anything else? Any other gear with you or is that I it? I have literally a basic set I just bought. If you want, I'll set you up. I have... Yeah, come on over. Come on over. Leaving. Are they leaving? Yeah. Okay. Well, you come here, Ross. Uh, when I can. When you can. When I can. You know? Okay, brother. Well, yeah. Nice Take to meet care. you. Take care. I'll follow you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. No Good luck. <laughs> so when I was reeling in that second fish before we popped off, there was a guy that just walked over here. I think his name was Matt. I was showing him what I was using. And uh, yeah, hopefully you catch some fish out there, man. Good luck. It's a really simple setup and you can just come out here, hang out and uh, see if you get something. All right, update. No more bites yet, but we're enjoying this little evening here. It's just... It's just beautiful out here right now, like 60 degrees, spring day. Spring is coming. It's just nice out here. And we'll wait. Just refreshed all the baits. Got probably maybe half a dozen shiners left and we'll see what we can do. All right, that's it for today. No more bites. We did land that beautiful fish though. So the rest of the shiners, going back. So this is a really super simple technique for you to smoke fish at home on a smoker or a Traeger or anything like that. After my fishing trip, I went home, I filleted the fish, and I took the rib bones out, making sure to, to pretty much remove all the bones that you possibly can remove. I made a very simple dry rind, which for just this one fish, I used a quarter cup of kosher salt, a quarter cup of brown sugar, and just a pinch of black pepper, probably about a teaspoon or so. You take that cure, you mix it up, and you make sure to apply it all over the trout, all over the front, on the skin side, and just try to cover all the surfaces of the fish. Once I did that, I put it in a foil pan, covered the top with a little bit of parchment and saran wrap, and I placed some weights on it. 
what that does, it really helps draw out the moisture, it gets to cure deep into the fish, and I pop that in the fridge overnight. Simple as that. The next step after that, the next morning, you take the trout, you rinse it under some cold water, making sure to get all of that cure off, try to pat it dry with a paper towel, and then you set that in the fridge open for a few hours. Now what that does, when that fish is open in the fridge, it actually forms a pellicle. It's almost like a little layer on the outside of this fish. It's really gonna help the smoke adhere to it, and uh, you'll get a lot more flavor that way. So as you can see behind me, I have our new Traeger Silverton 810. Got that smoker set at 165 degrees, super smoke. And we are gonna pop this on there shortly. So for this catch and cook, we're gonna be doing a whiskey smoked trout on the Traeger. It's gonna be delicious. Let's get this fish on the grill. I also wanted to mention the wood I'm smoking on today is cherry wood. That's going to be a really good wood for fish. For a trout this size, it's probably going to take around an hour and a half. I'll check it probably an hour in and then we can glaze it. It's going to be really good. Let's actually make the glaze right now. About two ounces of maple syrup, equal parts of whiskey, and a little bit of butter. First we're going to put this maple syrup in there. Now maybe you might have to do this part outside. We're going to flom back. Really cook that whiskey down. You see, you see the alcohol cooking off there, just like that. Now you're just gonna let that reduce, just like that. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Then we're just gonna put that tablespoon of butter in. And just melt that into there. This is gonna be just enough glaze for that one fish we have. And if you need to make more, if you have more fish, just double or triple the recipe. All right, let's check on this trout. Yep, I think it's about time to glaze it. Just brush it right on there. I'm gonna go ahead and let that finish. All right, I think this is done. And there's the finished product there. You can see that glaze is on there really nice. Oh man, that looks good. I've already tried a little piece here and there. Let's go get go ahead and give it a shot. Now you can slice this, you can just eat it right off the way it is. I'm just gonna take a piece right now. You can see it right there. Really nice smoked trout. Mmm. Such good smoke flavor. A little bit of saltiness from that that dry brine that it sat in. You can shred this, you can make a trout dip, you can put it on a bagel. You can pretty much do anything with that, smoked trout. And if I missed anything in the video and you have any more questions, leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like videos like this and you're new to the channel, consider hitting that like button, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you next time on The Line Cook. Until the next one. We're out of here.